Hi, everybody. I am here with Gabby Williams of the Seattle Storm. First off, how have you been uh, just adjusting back to being with the Storm? Yeah, it's been a couple months since I've played organized basketball, um, but I'm just happy to be back in this environment, being back with the staff and some of my old teammates, but a lot of new faces as well. So just trying to change my role. You know, last year I was more of a, a role player, and this year, you know, they asked me to be more of a, a vocal leader, being that I'm only one of the three <laughs> returners this year. Um, and so just trying to fill into that role, being more vocal and trying to help out the new guys. All right, well, it's great to have you back and be able to see you because I know we haven't talked for a while. Um, all right, you do so much on the court. Your game is almost hard to describe, but can you just talk about the importance of what you bring to your team? I just try to mesh into any team I'm with. Um, with some teams, maybe I have to be more of a scorer. Maybe I have to be more offensive-minded. Other teams, maybe I just have to be more of a defender. I have to be more of a facilitator. So I try to think of myself as like a Swiss Army knife. You know, whatever the team needs, whatever they need, I try to just uh, blend in. Right. Every team needs that kind of player that can do anything whenever you need them to. Right. All right. Um, so what does it mean to you to now be a member of the Jordan brand? Yeah, oh my gosh, a dream come true. I mean, it's what every athlete dreams of. And then, of course, the Jordan brand being a huge part of our, you know, national team of PSG and being, uh, you know, the K54 being a huge part of uh, Paris Street Basketball. And me being the first French athlete or French basketball player to sign with Jordan, I think I just, I could have even have imagined it. My family is like sending me pictures of me on the billboard in the center of, of Paris. Like I, I'm just happy to represent um, such an amazing brand. And do you have a favorite pair of Jordans? I really like the Chicago ones or the Jordan ones, the Chicago version, the black and red. And I also love the new Tiana Taylors. If we're going to say something like newer, you know, I like the new Tiana Taylors. Awesome. All right. Congratulations about that. And do you have a favorite memory from playing with the French national team? I would say, uh, yeah, the, the bronze medal and just that whole experience. It was my first summer with the national team. And it was uh, obviously um, a really emotional end to my time with Chicago. And then just to kind of have that as the back part, like, okay, I get to go to the Olympics. I get to get a medal. Um, that was just a... Yeah, it was an amazing journey. All right, and last question for you today. Is there a mental process that you use to get ready for games, and has that changed over the course of your career? Being that I play on so many different teams, uh, I'm in, you know, two, two teams, uh, three teams a, uh, a year, including national team, I try to have the same routine before every game. That way, no matter how my body's feeling or maybe, you know, it's after a long travel day, I might be tired. If I just do the same routine, that kind of helps me get in the zone, no matter how I'm feeling physically or, or, or mentally. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, <laughs>